This is Elias walking you through the steps of cover, uncover, and alternate cover test for squint or strabismus assessment. So the first prerequisite for this test is that the patient should be able to see at a distance or near. So there has to be some vision potential uh, for this to happen. And the way that you do it is you will do it at at least two distances, the primary uh, distance and near. So what you do is uh, I sit on the side of the patient and the patient will be looking at a distant target from, uh, from over my shoulder. And when he's looking at a distance target, I will see which eye is deviated. So let's assume, although Irfan does not have any deviation, but let's assume that his uh, right left eye is deviated. So the first thing I'm going to do is when his left eye is deviated, I'm going to cover the right eye and then see what the movement happens in the left eye. So once again, I am covering the light, uh, right eye while focusing on the left. Uh, if, for instance, this patient is uh, having straight eyes, then I will cover test will not give me much information, and then I need to see whether there's any latent element or any uh, foria which is present. To look at foria, we do the uncover test. So at that time, I'm going to first cover the right eye. And then when I uncover the right eye, I'm going to be focusing on the right eye, seeing whether there's any uh, fixation movement. Now for uncover test, I normally like to keep my hand here so that my hand is stable. And while the patient looks at a distance, I will do a cover test and then an uncover test, and then a cover test, and then an uncover test. So when you combine these two, that is what you're doing in an alternate covering a cover test. So what you do is you do a one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And you observe the eye which you are uncovering or the eye which is not covered. Uh, you will repeat the same test by taking an accommodative target. So. As you can see, there's an H here, and I will sit in front of Irfan now and then give him a target at an accommodative target. So don't give them a torch or a light, give them a target which can read, which they can read, and then I will first cover one eye while observing the other eye. Then I'm going to uncover that eye while observing the eye which I'm uncovering, and then I'm going to do one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So the information that the cover test is going to give us is about manifest deviation or tropias. So the first thing that it tells us is whether a tropia is present or not. This we will see when we cover the eye, the other eye is going to take a fixation. And that tells us whether there's a tropia present or not. The other thing that it's going to tell us is the direction of deviation, meaning whether there is an exotropia, the eye going from out to in, and esotropia, the eye going from in to out, a hypertropia, the eye going from up to down or a hypotropia, the eye going from down to up. The third thing that we see is the magnitude of that deviation. So we do a quantitative assessment by using prisms. The last thing which is important and gives you a clue is how fast a fixation movement you observe because this will give you information about two things. One, how good is the visual equity? Because if the visual equity is bad, you will see a searching movement because that eye is trying to find the target where to focus. And the other thing that you will know is how good is the action of the extraocular muscles. So if there's any paresis, the movement will be slow and if there's any paralysis, there will not be any movement. Now in uncover test, you are looking at 
a deviation which is hidden which is called a latent deviation or a foria so in this you are covering the eye thereby taking away the stimulus of vision and then when you uncover the eye you focus on the eye which you are uncovering and if you see any movement you will know that this patient has a foria the second thing that you will see is the direction of foria so if it is if that refixation movement is from out to in that is going to be called as exophoria if it's from in to out it is esophoria if it is from up to down it's hyperphoria and if it is from down to up it is hypophoria so these the cover test is for tropias the uncover test is for folias now the alternate cover test is basically combining the cover and uncover test together so you are looking at the total deviation which means you are looking at the manifest deviation through the cover test and the latent deviation through the uncover test you will also look at the direction of total deviation as mentioned earlier and the magnitude by introducing prisms to illustrate this further we are going to examine a patient with an exotropia so this patient has an exotropia of the left eye where you see a light reflex in the center of the pupil in the right eye whereas in the left eye you see the light reflex uh, between the pupil margin and the limbus so, uh, in, and this is a left exotropia and when i cover the right eye there is a quick fixation movement of the left eye uh, showing that uh, he has an exotropia and once he blinks the eye uh, he loses fixation so i cover the right eye again to see whether he takes that fixation from outside in which shows an exotropia and then when i uncover he maintains a fixation with his left eye which shows he has an alternating uh, exotropia now when i do an alternate prism cover uh, alternate cover test we see uh, outward in movement of either eye and this shows he has an alternating exotropia now this other patient also has a left exotropia and if you focus on the light reflex in the right eye it is completely in the center of the pupil whereas in the left eye it is at the limbus the the nasal limbus showing the left exotropia this patient had a vision of counting finger in the left eye and if i cover the right eye you will see that the left eye does not take fixation and on prompting the patient the left eye takes searches for the target and then takes movement so there's a searching movement going on from the left eye and on alternate prism cover te test however the right eye takes a very quick fixation and i have to keep on prompting to take fixation from the left eye thank you